Hi everyone, it's Randall with Carter Hill Honeybees and to, in today's video, we're gonna do a three week checkup on these five package swarm colonies. Uh, just to briefly review, I installed these packages three weeks ago today. The populations have been naturally declining over that period, which is normal for package colonies. Two weeks ago, we looked in there and made sure all the queens was out laying and they was. None of the brood from the, the queen that was introduced should not be emerging yet. But in about four to five days, the colony is going to start catching up and taking off. The, the first of the brood should be emerging in the next uh, three to five days, I would imagine. But today we just want to look at what's going on inside and, and just see how they're doing overall. I'm hoping to see uh, a couple of three frames of cat brood and some larva. I'm not, I, I do look at them every couple of days or so as far as the entrance. So they, they've been working very consistently all this time. So. I expect they're gonna look really good. So let's, let's take some tops off and see what we got. Now I did put a pretty good size amount of pollen supplement on here at the one week check. So they've consumed almost all of that. So the bees are very calm, not really responding to my hands. So that's a very good indication. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of light smoke So I've took out my outside frame and I'm going to go ahead and move about three or four over. So yeah, we're almost to the edge of the brood nest. There's some cat brood right there. And I can see eggs and young larvae all around the perimeter of that. So now I can see that the young larvae have plenty of nutrition. Uh, definitely a good amount of worker jelly in there. So that's a, that's a very good indication. You got cat brood on this side as well. And right here's the end of the brood nest, pretty much. But it's growing, there is some eggs in that. Also lots of uh, nectar and, uh, and or sugar syrup in there too. So now I want to ease towards the middle of the brood nest and see how we're looking. A little bit bigger diameter brood area here and cat brood. Eggs all around the perimeter. So this queen is doing a really good job laying, laying uh, these frames up nicely one egg per cell and all dead center in the middle so that's very well pleased with that they're already starting to raise some drones as you can see right there very nice amount of cat brood so this this colony in two weeks uh going to have a totally different population than it does right now i have a pretty good chance of getting some honey off of these this year being I was able to start them out with drone comb. Yeah, there's a very nice frame of brood right there. Awesome. So that that young queen right there is doing a great job. I'm gonna go ahead and put some more pollen supplement patty on here. Um, it looks like I didn't really see an abundance of pollen or bee bread. So they're, 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 as far as pollen, they're probably still living hand to mouth. I'm going to go ahead and put another about a pound or so of pollen supplement patty on here. Because I, I think they need it and I surely don't want to set them back having bringing them this far right now because they're on the verge of really taking off. All right, I got me some more pollen supplement. All right, so that colony's good to go. This colony hadn't used too much of the syrup either. Maybe close to half of it in two weeks. A very nice frame of brood. There's a little bit of pollen and bee bread there. The queen cup was empty, I was just checking to see. Sometimes you'll get 
a sewer procedure pretty quick after a package form installation. And there's a couple more cups. You see, that one's dry. So maybe they're just, they may be going to supersede this queen. I don't know. But she's laying it up pretty good. So maybe her, you know, if they're doing that, maybe her pheromone output is maybe not quite up to par. Still a pretty good brood pattern. A little bit of spottiness, but that could be due to mites. Because uh, I'll be doing a wash on this collie here in a week or so. And once a good deal of her brood starts coming out and uh, see where the, what's happening, I'm going to have to give it a treatment. They, they have a pretty good amount of pollen, so they're definitely gathering pollen pretty good. But all in all, this one's, this one's doing okay. I believe one of these was a little slower than the other one's four. And this may be it. And, you know, if they do choose to supersede the queen, that'll, that'll be fine. Not a big deal. She's already established a brood nest, so they should just carry on and continue with business if, if they're going to supersede. I'm not saying for sure they are, but those two cups could be an indication that they are about to. So if they do elect to supersede this queen, I want to be sure they got adequate nutrition to raise a good queen. So I'll put some more pollen supplement on here. So that one's looking pretty good overall. I want to turn this brick a different direction and I'll come back here in a week or so and, and check this one and see if they're um, build those queen cuts back and they may start the process of trying to supersede that queen in the next couple of weeks. So I'll be watching for that. And if they do, I just want to put this colony up there at my best yard where the new queen can mate with uh, any of the drones at that yard that are doing so good and I feel like those are probably my best colonies so that would be good genetics to cross with these this colony seems to be doing pretty good as well so that's very nice actually a bee emerging right there so this frame's starting to Emerge out some young bees, so this queen got out pretty early. She must have got out the, about the second day, or maybe the day I installed them. Which would be nice, that'll get, that'll get this colony building up even quicker than I was anticipating. Yeah, pretty good brood pattern right there. Here's doing a really good job. So I'm going to put this back together, put some more pollen something on it, and uh, let them go. I'm thinking in a week or two, these will be ready to put out in the production yard, and I may look around and get a couple supers of honey off of these. The potential is certainly there for it. So that colony's progressing nicely as well. Yeah, right there, very nice. Uh, got a nice band of pollen around the top. A little bit of spottiness. So in a week or two, I'm gonna do a mite wash on these to see where they're at. That, I see where bees emerge right there. And that may be what's happening. The bees may be starting to merge. But uh, still, I think it's a good idea. I need to see where these are, bees are at on the mites. And to address that accordingly. But I don't see any reason to pull any more frames. This colony is doing very well. Beautiful frame of brood right there. Now, if I would have got these packages back in the middle of the latter part of March, this wouldn't look nothing like this. And probably 70% of the queens would be, the colonies would be in super procedure mode right now. And, you know, these may do it too. I don't know. I can't answer, rightly answer that. But right there, some very young bees. So there's already bees emerging today here. At, I mean, this has been 21 days since I installed them. So apparently, some bees may come out a day early. But, uh, but I see five or six very young bees right here. There's a queen cup. Not going to mess with it. 
and also I don't see any need to go any further as I see more and more cat brood on those other frames so I'm very well pleased with these these packages so especially if you got drone comb or packages are not a bad option uh, I'm, I'm seeing that here so I definitely had I've had much better uh, success with this group of packages than I did the last ones I bought in 2013 that I I received and installed around March the 16th and that's just way too early for this area in northwest Alabama for me now, if you live in South Alabama or some areas further south that's probably a good date but, but not for me I'll never I'll never get none that early again and I've got five very good colonies all, all 13 of them I got back then never uh, got anywhere near this good until I, basically the honey flow was over so very very well pleased with these right here but the key is I was patient and waited till the uh, first of April to get them and I'm putting a very generous amount of pollen supplement patty on here and I'm not saying there's nothing in here but I'm not I'm not seeing an adult small high beetle let alone a larva in here I'm not saying they're not in here but they're definitely not none in the in the patties to this point all right so it's been three weeks since we installed the colonies this completes the three-week assessment uh, surprisingly there's already a few bees emerging in some of these colonies I'm very well pleased with how they're doing I was fully suspect within the next week or so I'll be able to get these out in the production yard super them up and I fully expect to get some honey off of them but uh, that's, that's the goal but we'll see how it goes I will be doing a mite check on them I uh, may or may not have to treat them I'll just see but that, that's going to come about a week or so I'll probably get about two weeks then I'll do a mite wash see where they're at but I'm really excited about these colonies so before I sign off I want to give a, a special shout out uh, the gentleman I purchased these package swarms from I probably would have never met if it wasn't for my channel the gentleman's name is Mr. Andrew Feach and he's from Boonville Mississippi and he's the gentleman I purchased these packages from very well pleased with them very professional operation and he makes his living and provides for his family with his honeybees through almond pollination and, and selling nukes and package swarms and from what I can see here it looks like he does a great job so uh, I want to thank Andrew uh, I feel like I've made a, a new friend in beekeeping and I'm certainly glad to know his acquaintance and also the Queens that he supplied with these packages come from a gentleman named Juan Tinico, and I hope I'm saying that right and he is from Gridley California according to Andrew he just I don't know how long he's been rearing Queens but he has enough confidence in them that, that he's buying them for his bees that he's making his living on so that that was enough for me to give them a try generally when you find people that make a living with their bees uh, you want to pay close attention especially you know if they're really successful they have no choice they got to do the right things or they got to learn quickly or they'll be out of business before you can turn around and that also goes to anybody that's profitable you know a successful beekeeper that can make money with bees whether it be honey or queens packaged bees or whatever and uh, that's that's the folks you want to try to get good information from and good bees and good queens also i'll have a short clip the additional extra queen I got, I wound up uh, making a 10 frame split with about six frames of brew that I combined with that nuke that you saw at the, uh, at the one week inspection. There was not enough bees in there, so I just went and uh, made a big split on it. And uh, this absolutely took off and, you, and you'll get to see some footage of, the, of that queen in, in this uh, video, but she's really took off. I'll, I'll be putting those out in the production yard Within a day or two, uh, there's already young bees doing orientation flights in the afternoon, so that colony is definitely doing very good. So. We'll check up again on these in a couple of weeks and I'll give you an update, but so far, very well pleased with them. 
much better experience than in the 2013. But thank you for joining me for this video today. Never stop learning, and we'll catch you on the next one.